What is up you guys, it is Sam here, and today I'm going to teach you how to install Mod Loader from all versions of Minecraft 1.6 on your Mac. Here we go. So the first thing you want to do is head to your finder and make sure you are in your user folder on your user account. In this case, my user account's name is Padman. Now what can we notice here in our user folder? There is no library folder. Here is how you get it back. Remember, all of these codes that I will type into, term into terminal in this tutorial will be in the description below, so simply copy and paste the codes and put them right into terminal. Well anyways, the code is chflags no hidden squiggly slash library slash enter. And as you can see, the library folder has reappeared. Now let's exit out of terminal and let's exit out of our finder window. Open up any browser, any browser of course. For example, this one is Safari. I will put a link to this in the description below. This is the official mod loader thread on the Minecraft forums. Scroll all the way down under where it says mod loader 1.6.1, .1, click download direct and the file should go directly to your downloads folder on your Mac. Let's exit out of Safari and let's bring our mod loader folder onto our desktop. Now let's go back into our finder, go to library, application support, Minecraft, and these are the files you want to save. Your saves file, your stats file, your options file, and if you have a servers file, if there's a file that says servers, save that as well. Then delete everything else, move that to trash. Now let's open up our Minecraft application. Leave this finder window open. As you can see, a couple files have already downloaded. And then simply put in your username and password. Remember, this will only work if you have a Minecraft Premium account. If you downloaded Minecraft illegally, it will not work. So once your username and password are entered in, click play. And as you can see, a little bar down here will start loading. And all of the files will start downloading into your Minecraft folder in your application support. This process does take a while, so I will speed up and see you guys on the other side. Once you are greeted with the regular Minecraft home screen, click quit game. And then in your Minecraft launcher, head up to your, to your toolbar where it says Minecraft launcher and click quit Minecraft. Now back in your Minecraft folder and application support, select your saves file, your options.txt, your stats, and a server file if you have one, and drag them into the folder. Right here where it says, do you want to replace the files? Click apply to all and then click replace. Now in your versions folder right here, you want to select this 1.6.1 file, do copy, and then do paste. Then you want to rename this file to 1.6.1 ml, which is for mod loader. And then in your 1.6.1 ml file, go to your .jar, 1.6.1 ml.jar, and 1.6.1 ml.json. In your .json file, open, your, open up your .json file, where it says ID and 1.6.1, simply put in ml in the quotation, so it says id 1.6.1 ml. Do file, save, and just click out of that. Now let's head all the way back to our home, simply by clicking the home folder right here. And now we want to open up terminal. This is where you will need to look in the description below for the codes I will ask you to put into terminal. I will have the codes, of course, right here on screen for reference. So the first code you want to put in is this one, which is CD squiggly MKDIR MCTMP. Simply do command C, go into terminal, do command V, press enter, and a file should appear in your home folder that says MCTMP. Click on that, and as you can see, there are plenty of dot class files to be seen. Now let's head to our mod loader folder, which we dragged to the desktop earlier. Click on that, select every file in the mod loader folder, and drag them into the MCTMP file. Click apply to all, then click replace. Let's exit out of our mod loader finder window. And now let's head back to our description. And what you and the next code you want to select to drag in into terminal is this one where it says rm meta inf slash mojang underscore c period um, asterisk. Do command C. Go back into terminal, do command V. And it already does it for you. As you can see, the MCTMP folder has disappeared. Now let's open up Minecraft. 
and right here where it says version release 1.6.1 ml this is exactly what it should say if it does not say this then you did it wrong simply rewatch the video and try again if it does not say this head down here where it says play game click play and we should have a very successful login and as you can see it worked so to try it out let's head on single player and let's go into this survival world that i've made just to make sure that we get some gameplay in here now, as you can see, my skin is showing, which means I am, of course, connected to the Mojang servers, which means that worked, and a world rendered, well, perfectly. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching this video on how to install Mod Loader for Minecraft 1.6, all versions of 1.6 for that matter, on your Mac. I will make a tutorial on how to install mods, because that is a very, very difficult part. So there will be a little box right here that says, watch if you want to learn how to install mods. That video will be up soon. So be so stay tuned for that and if it is up simply click that box right there and it will take you directly to it. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, please leave a comment below. I will happily answer it. Also, if you are new to the channel and you want to subscribe for more gaming tech tutorials and reviews, hit that subscribe button down below. And if this video really helps you, hit that like button down below as well. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Sam, signing off.